Now in recent years we've seen a lot of hybrids come into play, supposedly easier to hit than a three wood. Yep. Would you agree with that? For sure, and, yeah. yeah. If you have, I think in the near future, you're not going to see three irons you don't see anymore for the amateur golfers. Four irons I don't think you're going to see anymore. Pretty soon five irons are going to probably start to disappear. The, the, the reason that it's easier to hit for one thing is shorter and it's lighter. And as you look down at a hybrid, it gives you almost instant confidence because you can just see the slant of it compared to a five or a four. And you know, you look at that and you say, man, I don't know if this is going to go up. So the minute you get a little concerned and lose confidence. So this has a lower center of gravity down there, gets the ball yep, okay. down there. You can, in, in, you can actually, with the hybrid, now I'm going to do this, I'm going to actually hit into it, okay? Now I just hit into it. I took a divot and I still responded. It goes up. With a five iron doing that, it probably would have gone way too low and I would not have done that. Or else I can, now with this, I can sweep it. A little more height. Height. I can sweep it. I can hit it out of that rough. I can do this with a hybrid. Okay? Now that's a tough lie, right? Right. It's very tough. Very tough. Now I can just pitch into it and get the thing out of there. Nice. I could never do that with a five iron. Impossible. So there's a lot of usage with this. This on a par three, like cheating compared to a five iron. So you got to get, get, get some hybrids in there, get those threes and fours, possibly the fives, and get the maybe the 20 degree, 24, 28. Don't be afraid to go up because it's, it really will help your longer shots into the greens. It gets up and stops it. And remember, if it sounds complicated, it's wrong.